Hello there. Here we go. Chris Lyons here has had her half of this uh, tiebreaker, and she scored twice, and now we've got your half of the tiebreaker, and we'll see how you do. Is everyone ready? Ready. Yes. Oh, yes. This is the second half of the tiebreaker. Yes. Okay. Jane said, the only problem I have with my husband is that he lives in the blank. Jane said, the only problem that I have with my husband is that he lives in the blank. All right. Ready down here, Charles? Ready. So, we'll call on Margaret Moore. Jane said, the only problem I have with my husband is that he lives in the... Garage. In the garage? That's kind of an oddball answer. She said, garage. Orson, let's see, you need two to tie and stay in the game. Three will win it. She said, garage. What do you say? If she thinks that's a problem, imagine the problem she'd have if he lived in the Y. In the Y. <laughs> that would be he bad. He might never come home. That's true. Brett? I've heard that. Uh, that's where Jack Klugman's living, in the Y. <laughs> Hasn't been home in months. Well, I, well, the minute you said Jane, you see, I immediately thought of Tarzan, and I said trees. In the trees. Okay, Charles, garage, the answer we're looking for. I said for. John Toilet Outhouse or Sailor. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the only problem I have with my husband is that he lives in the... Bed, cause he is so lazy. Oh, really? Bed. Her answer is bed. You must Not match the two remaining celebrities to stay in the game, Margaret. Here we go, Richard. Well, unless the garage is named John, it's not a match. Okay. Oh, Chris Lyons is the winner. Congratulations, Chris. There's $100 for you. Congratulations. Margaret Moore will be leaving here with $5,600 in our good wishes. We've been a terrific contestant. Thank you, Margaret. Well, uh, you've seen this, and you know how it goes, Not so me, shall we Mary get right Ann. to it? Okay. All right, here we go. We're the big money super match where you can win over $5,000. We polled a recent studio audience, Chris, and we got their best response to this. Blank age. You know how it goes, $500, $250, and $100. Little help from celebrities. Name them one at a time. Richard. Something Gene and I are suffering from. Old age. <laughs> Speak for yourself, Sam. <laughs> oh, I say you got old. Well, who else? Uh, Charles. Charles. Well, uh, first, uh, uh, and also, Rand, how about golden age? Golden age. There's another one. Yeah. Keep the applause down, Daddy. please. <laughs> <laughs> Don't spread this around, but how about middle age? Middle oh. age. Ah. So now you have golden age, age and old years. age, and middle age. You may choose one of those as the answer, or give us one of your own, but we have to call for a response now. Old age. Old age is what she thinks is the winner up there. The one that Richard gave her. Let's find out where it is. First, may we see the $100 response? Teenage is a marvelous answer that uh, never came up <laughs> at all, did it? Okay. Still looking for old age. Here is the $250 response. Stone, Stone Age. Oh. Yeah, that's a very good crowd. Yeah, okay. Here's your last chance for old age, my dear. All right, your last chance for old age, I repeat. Here is the $500 response. Old age. Congratulations. Congratulations. Okay. You got the $500. You're going to play for 10 times that amount now, or $5,000. You got to match one celebrity. Which one will it be? Richard. Okay. He gets ready to write. You face me. Here is the $5,000 question. Please write your response to this. Blank world. Blank world. Okay, he's finished. Now, Chris, we need an answer from you. How do you fill in that blank? Blank world. New world. New world is what she said. Richard, for five grand, may we see your answer? It said small world. Oh, oh. small world. It's a small world. Okay, you got the $600. That's small yours. You're still world. a champ. Gonna play another game. But first, this message for you. 
We'll look forward to seeing our current champ, Chris Lyons, next time. And I am deeply in debt to all of these people because they gave us marvelous performances, energy, vitality, and all that. I have one you thing to say. Splendid. What? Charles Quickly. Nelson Rowley isn't wearing socks. Who asked you? I next asked time, the world. Next time, we're going to have world. this <laughs> group of kooks Bert Convey, <laughs> Brett Summers, Vic Godier, Elaine Joyce, Richard Dawson, and Ann Elder. Gene Rayburn from Match 1074. Join us next time. Thank you. This is Johnny Olson speaking for Match Game 74. A Mark Hudson, Bill Topman production. Stay tuned for Tattletales next over most of these CBS stations.